Hello everybody, I'm CPLATTACKER and today I'm going to be showing you how to secure your Google account in a very simple way. Google has provided a simple security checkup and a privacy checkup to help make sure that all of your information is staying very secure. To get started, head over to google.com, click on this little apps icon, and find the My Account option. It may not appear in these uh, nine boxes or however many you have here. Just click More, and it'll be in one of these apps. Click on My Account, and you'll be brought to this page. There are a lot of different settings you can look up. There's a lot of information on this page, and honestly, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, but when you take a closer look, it's actually not too difficult. Today, we're going to be focusing on two sections, the security checkup, and the privacy check. First, um, go to the security checkup and click get started. All right, this brings you to a simple page that has four different categories where you can see any critical information about your account. You can see recent security activity, your devices, sign-in and recovery, and third-party access. And I'm going to go through each one of these with you. It appears that I do have an issue found, so let's take a look at that. It's in recent security activity. We just click on that and it says, Google prevented a sign-in from a less secure app. That was me. Um, I was trying, trying to sign into Outlook 2016 and it blocked it because I thought it was a less secure app. But that was on a different computer. It didn't recognize it, but it was me. So I say yes. So that's all this is. You're just answering simple questions to make sure that your um, account is very secure. So if I click on uh, my devices, <clears throat> it appears I've got several devices. So if I don't recognize something, then I would click this. And this would bring me to this page where I would be offered to change my password if I so desire. Sign in and recovery. This is where you can choose a phone number and a recovery email in case you lose your password. Um, you already know about that probably. Then third party access. This is uh, just different apps that you have allowed to use your um, Google Plus or YouTube account or whatever. And then you can continue to your, uh, back to your account after you've gone through that security checkup so that you can um, look at other sections. Now for the privacy checkup. Again, click get started. Start now. So here we've got um, some different settings for YouTube about private videos and such. Um, and so you can change any relevant information. Google makes it super simple. Uh, you can manage certain videos to make them public or private or whatever. All right, and click next. Then your Google Photos settings. Uh, you can remove geolocation, which is pretty useful if you don't want people to track you through your photos. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, devices like your iPhone or your Android or whatever are automatically set to add locations to your pictures so that um, they can use fancy features to you know, show you where you took photos and stuff, but that stuff can also be dangerous when referring to privacy and security. I prefer to remove my geolocation, so I have that setting turned off. Next. All right, then this is about your Google Plus profile information, what's visible to other people. Um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Google, <laughs> I keep repeating myself, but Google just makes it really simple. It's not difficult to find out if there's a problem with your account. And one last thing I'd like to show you. Logging on to gmail.com. If there is something you don't recognize, you'll see an alert down here. This says, last account activity 11 minutes ago. I just got on my email about 11 minutes ago. If there's an alert or a concern, it will notify you, but at any time, if you just click details, it will bring up this detailed page of what devices logged on to um, what server or where or whatever. It shows you all this information. You can then choose to sign out of all other web sessions or change your password. So there's a lot of really useful information here. I hope you guys found this informational. If you have any other questions, 
um, or concerns about this, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you. I'll see you next time.